I'm Minh An. I'm Kirin. We are Sisi. Today we're gonna introduce about the school we are studying. This is Ngo Banya High School. Hope you guys like it. Join me to learn about this school. Ngo Banya High School in Kabe District in Yang Rong Wai. Where school are located have park leading to the school. Ngo Banya High School is a remote school with over 700 children. The school in Rochester is still quite lucky. Uh, the school has 33 classrooms and the classroom to it to Russia's chemistry, biology, and art. One classroom is with the chapter and television for teaching. The school has meeting room and working room for all teachers and contest. Contractor has a new shape and has four laws. There are two tackles in left and center for teachers and students to easily go up and down. The school has canteen the necessary list of students and teachers in eating and drinking. The school has a total of 40 teachers. One of the school in Rochester is still quite lucky. Uh, teachers are always very active in studying and working. Uh, all the teachers have their degree among their master and daughter of their degree. In March, Mokanya High School has 100 Russian Radisson Ray. That's very common. Don't you think so? Of course, this is still not over. Every year, the school actively participates in sport and art competition and achieve remarkable results. Uh, teachers and students are friendly and active in working and studying. Uh, some, some students are ready and enjoy their work. I don't know what to think about my school, but I think Obanya High School is right and solo to me. I believe that's all of students in my school think I mean. Your student time passes very quickly, so they travel is really for time when you're student. That are not on our change in Jerusalem. And thanks for listening. See you next time. Hello, everybody. Aizen was accepted on 8 August 1967 in Bangkok by the five original member countries Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand. Brunei Jerusalem joined on 8 January 1984. Vietnam on 28 July 1995, Laos and Myanmar on 23 July 1997, and Cambodia on 30 April 1999. Even though the are widely used traditional customers are still popular in the fly and especially during the holidays in South West. Asian countries. Traditional customs are cultural beauty of each country. Below are the traditional races of 10 countries in the Association of Southern Asian Nations. 1. Cambodia. The traditional Cambodian support is a woman's long skirt with a pawn or pleat in the front. But some support styles actually look more like trousers. It's one with more shirt or blows. On special occasions, women match the color of their shorts to the traditional color for that day. Cambodian men typically wear cotton or steel shirts with short or long sleeves. They wear cotton trousers they wear. Thailand's women national custom are named the child. The women national custom is named a track right. It's made up of tight shirt and a track and love the back leg and a shoulder flat shirt. Ready to work in Nana. And a short which is made by Argandi, the main national cuts domino in Shu Farachatan. La women wear a shoe skirt, blouse, and scarves to attend important ceremonies. La men wear salon, big lap pants, or a piece of pants. Singapore has in their own traditional dress because they are separated into four nationalities are Chinese, Malaysian, Indian, and Arabian. And its nationality got their own traditional dress. 5. Indonesia. A caviar is a traditional plow's dress combination worn by women in Indonesia. A caviar is a traditional plow dress combination worn by women in Indonesia. It's sometimes made from sheer material and usually worn with a sarong or belly. Indonesian men generally wear sarongs in the home. In public, the sarong is worn only when attending Friday prayers at the mosque. For formal national occasions, 
the men wear padded shirts with trousers or tail up best cap, a combination of the Japanese jacket and sarong. But you may like you in a traditional Malay outfit for men. The Muslim males in Malaysia wear the traditional dress. But you may like you during festival and wedding gatherings. They will usually wear a companion and a sorry light sanka and same thing. The female version of the Batu Mela you call it the Batu Kuran. Batu Kuran is a traditional dress for the Muslim and ladies in Malaysia. It's simple and very full and cover more of back the wear body. 7. Myanmar The longest is the Myanmar national dress worn by men as well as women. The longi is the Myanmar national dress worn by men as well as women. It's basically a piece of cloth shown into a cylindrical tip, slipped over a head by men and stepped into by the women and tucked in that weight. Men and women, however, fasten their longis at the weight in different ways. Men fold the garment into two panels and not it neatly at weight level. The Baron Tagalog is an embroidered formal garment of the Philippines. In Filipino cultures, it's common wedding and formal tie, mostly for men but also for women. The Balinta is a traditional Filipino custom for women. The custom typically features a white or cream color low with butterfly soft fleece. Brunian traditional dress look similar to traditional dress of Malaysia called Baju Maliu for the women called Baju Karen. With Brunian traditional woman dress will be more colorful. The most of it will be a dress cover a body from head to toe. Men wear a long arm shirt, a shirt length to the knee, a trousers and sarong. Bruneans wear traditional Malay costume. Men wear Baju Baliu. Brunei women dress in brightly colored apparel. The dresses usually cover the body from head to toe. They wear a headscarf in public places and in government offices. Ao Yai is a traditional custom of Vietnamese people with a really well-known water word. In Vietnam, Ao Yai not only a kind of flow, but it also holds the soul of Vietnamese people, especially Vietnamese women. Because of its important and meaning in Vietnamese culture, it is worthy to learn about Ao Yai Vietnam if you land to come to this country. Ao Yai Vietnam had created hundreds of years ago. At first, it was worn by a group of Vietnamese people, but then it's more and more popular and become the national costume of Vietnam. Also, Rutam, the chef and the shy of Ao Yai Vietnam have changed a lot. Now, let's see the highlight history of Ao Yai Vietnam for both women and men. The remedial person Ao Zhao Lan around the 17th century. Ao Zhao Lan is considered the earliest version of Ao Yai Vietnam which is recorded. This was a four-piece dress, wearing a really long back skirt and colored fabric, belt to tie around the waist. Ao Yai Lema 1939 to 1943. In 1939, a big Greek group of Ao from Ao Tang was met by Captain Actis. While in the past, Ao Tang was like the traditional loose and bajou dress, Captain Actis changed the shiny frequently its style to hold a curve of body and added many western details such as pop sleeves, hot shaped neck, and ribbons. Also, this new style of Ao Yai was worn with a white pants, a purse, an umbrella, and high heels. It was named Ao Yai Lema because Lema is the French name of its designer, Captain Actis. However, Ao Yai Lema is considered indecent and again traditional values, so only some modern women dare to wear it readily. Ao Yai Lema was forgotten. Modern Ao Yai from 1970 to present. With the development of the fashion industry and the effect of the lover Lizerson, nowadays the modern Ao Yai Vietnam become more fashionable and more popular. But it still retains its traditional beauty 
and original form. Modern Aoya can be made from diversity of the material and mix with chain or loose silk bands. Today, Aoya Vietnam is one of special occasion to traditional festival and a wedding. History of Aoya Vietnam for men. In the past, Aoya was used to be the daily costume for Vietnamese men. It had more simple design with a two-piece dress mixing with the loose pant. However, from 18th to 19th century, when the Western clothes were imported in Vietnam, they have rarely replaced Aoya and have become the most popular costume for men in Vietnamese because of its masculinity and practicality. Over time, the, shy, the design of Aoya for men has not undergone much change. Today, it's just used in the traditional ceremonies or death holiday and worn most by Vietnamese men of the older generation. Wearing Aoya Vietnam on a special occasion. The first, wearing Aoya Vietnam in Tet Holiday. Tet Holiday is the most important and biggest celebration of the year in Vietnam. Therefore, decide the convention of Western style outfit for the daily tour. Vietnamese people believe that wearing Aoya Vietnam can create the festival form atmosphere. So, they rebuild up the older generation in family and maintain the Vietnamese tradition. They are the reason why in that holiday, it's easy to see people wearing Aoya on the streets. The second, wearing Aoya Vietnam in wedding and engagement parties. Wearing Aoya Vietnam in wedding and engagement parties used to be the ancient tradition of Vietnam. However, with the globalization, the Western wedding dress has imported to Vietnam and replaced the traditional Aoya in weddings because of its novel and modern beauty for a long time. Today, thanks to the development of the fashion industry and the creativity of Aoya designer, Aoya Vietnam for pot price and rooms becomes more and more charming and fashionable. As a result, many couples these days have become pin Aoya with the Western dress at their wedding in which Aoya is for the traditional ceremony and the Western dress is for the party. The third, wearing Aoya Vietnam on other special occasions. In the traditional festivals in Vietnam, especially the royal rite, the old men often wear Aoya to carry out the ceremony. Moreover, in an important meeting with foreign partner, the Vietnamese women wore Aoya Vietnam to show their respect. In addition, the national custom of Aoya Vietnam is worn by both Vietnamese men and women in international beauty contest to represent their patriotism and promote the Vietnamese culture for international audiences. The end. Wearing Aoya Vietnam as the uniform of high school students. In Vietnam, female students in high school have to wear Aoya as the right way to maintain the Vietnamese tradition. Most high schools in Vietnam have the rule for female students to wear Aoya on Monday. Therefore, every Monday, you can see a lot of female students wearing Aoya in the street, which create poor and elegant beauty of female students. In Vietnam, Students usually wear white Aoya mixing with shoe pants to help them feel comfortable and cool at school. Wearing Aoya is not only to enhance the beauty of a body, but also to, to be proud. proud.